Shalom. It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, I just did a video, a cooking video with the M4 Mini Bowie from John at BGM Knives. And I said that I may or may not get around to doing the Lanny's clip update, but I am. I'm going to do it real quick because I'm not going to have time to do it before I go to Ohio. So, um, are we on week two? Is it week two of this? I don't even know anymore. Um, the good news is the steel on this is some of the best I've ever used. The bad news is using a traditional knife as a main blade all day is kind of like... It's kind of like listening to dogs barking all day, which they're about to do because there's a dog walking by. So quickly, just going to night night that curtain. Get stop looking. Okay, so the Lanny's clip is great. It's a great knife. It's built like shit, but it performs very well. Carrying it is killing me. The barking is stop. Um, man. Like, not having the one-hand opening option is really tough. You're, you're just completely, like, needing to pay attention to where this is, when you're opening and closing it, um, having two hands available at all times. Like, it's, it's a lot. Uh, it is teaching me patience, for sure. It's teaching me a lot. It's teaching me about how knives used to be used as well. But, like, is it enjoyable? No. <laughs> no, it is not. Um, the fact that every single time I have to use my knife, I have to, like, pay attention to opening and closing it. And then, like, when I close it, I have to put it in my sweatshirt pocket because it, like, fishing it out from a sheath or whatever is difficult. And the one that my friend sent me, Walker, the belt sheath is incredible. It's so nice, but I can't get the knife out one-handed. Like, I have to use two hands because the retention is so tight, so I have to, like, pull it out with two hands, which is taking a while. So today I tried putting it in the side of my tail of knives sheath where I can push it out from the bottom, and that worked better. But, like, oh my gosh, what a headache. I can't wait to go back to one hand opening and closing knives. I seriously can't. Um, even, even if they're lockbacks but just have, like, a spidey hole or something to open it one-handed, like that will be a world of a difference in comparison to this. Um, it's seriously such a good knife. It's such a great design, but the deployment is, whew, it's a little tough. Um, the, the blade shape, I'm really enjoying. The fact that I have this little like half inch area right here where the edge is facing out that is actually very useful. So when I'm cutting, when I'm cutting something lower than me, like for example, when I'm cutting open the tubes of um, like food for my dogs, that raw food for my dogs, I open it up in what we call the meat sink where we thaw it. And so I, it's down in this deep tub. And the fact that I don't have to lift that up to cut it or, or do anything out of the ordinary. Like I can literally just slice down because this, this portion of the edge is facing out at whatever I want to cut. If it's, if it's like a cylinder or anything, you know, straight up and down like this. I mean, I have a little bit of that edge just enough to catch. I don't really have to move the angle too much, but I can literally just slide right down and I'm really enjoying that. The fact that it can do that, the fact that I have a little bit of edge to work with sticking straight out in front of me, as opposed to like, you know, a, a drop point where it would just be the tip cutting through. I, I really enjoy that. So that's something that I never, I never really thought that I would appreciate a clip point that much in EDC use, but Man, that is very useful for cutting things below me so that I don't have to pick them up or, or put them somewhere for leverage. That's just really nice to do those straight cuts and have that edge. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a very, it's a very useful knife. I could, honestly, even though this is not the review, I could never recommend anybody buying this because of how poorly put together it was. 
Like, it is just unacceptable. There's been a few people saying, well, that's the, the best quality of a handmade knife. You can tell that it was handmade. Like, no. No, because I have handmade knives that are put together correctly. This is a handmade knife that was put together incorrectly. Like, very poorly done. There's no excuse for this being $491 and having the fit and finish be absolute garbage. So, it is a great knife. You, in in terms of use, but I will never recommend anybody spending four hundred and ninety one dollars on a Case Lanny's clip because it came to me looking like it was put together by somebody blindfolded. Um, and then just a quick update on the mini Bowie. I just put a cooking video up of this where we processed a whole bunch of food. It did phenomenal, as Eric would say. Um, th this this design. The mini Bowie design is killer for EDC. It can do all of your EDC tasks. And then if you do like to do food prep or any type of like slicey dicey stuff, man, having that blade shape where you can rock and chop just whatever for days, that is fun. This is just like a killer little knife in the kitchen, which I showed on a video. Really enjoying it. The M4 is great, very stainless, surprisingly. Uh, John tempered it low, like I said before, so it is not taking a patina basically at all, <laughs> which is really interesting and kind of good because I work in, a, in an environment where my knives get wet all the time. No rust, barely a patina, just a little bit of darkening. It's just a fabulous knife so far. So I will have like a, a first impressions video of this coming up uh probably when i get back from river's edge cutlery i want to take the night time to do it correctly but we'll have a, a first impressions video of that coming up but that's it guys not too much um i will see you soon hopefully uh go use your shit go use your shit if you have knives their tools go use your shit go use your motherfucking shit and i love you all